Seneca once said, He suffers more than is necessary, who suffers before it is necessary. The Stoics teach that we suffer when we make the judgment that something bad is happening or will happen, but often we form these judgments carelessly, and so we suffer unnecessarily. For example, sometimes out of habit or carelessness, we default to black and white thinking. This is when we assume there are only two outcomes. We think to ourselves, I will either succeed at this task or totally fail, when in fact, the situation is more complicated and there are a variety of potential outcomes. Other times, we make assumptions without sufficient information. We might be anxious that someone does not like us or that people are judging us when we don't know what others are really thinking. Finally, we can be inappropriately future-oriented and find ourselves paralyzed at the prospect of an upcoming event before we are even affected by it. To combat this, we want to cultivate mindfulness or an awareness of the judgments we are forming and why we are forming this. This requires sustained attention. We will now practice a meditation. Start with a few deep breaths. Close your eyes. Remind yourself why you're doing this. Prepare for adversity. If you become distracted or uncomfortable, return to the meditation practice. Finally, commit to finishing the session. Start with a broad focus. Pay attention to any sounds that are occurring around you. Hold your body in attention. Take note of any sensations that arise. And let thoughts come and go without judgment. Let's start by summarizing your recent thoughts. What did you believe during the last day? What were your thought patterns?
continue bringing to mind your thoughts when were you accurate when did you make mistakes how did you react to events Continue reflecting on the recent past. Focus on your thought patterns and reactions. Now spend a moment considering when you thought well. When did you think excellently? Continue bringing to mind moments where you thought well. Perhaps you took the time to consider a difficult issue seriously, instead of rashly choosing an option or avoiding the matter altogether. Perhaps you noticed a mistake of yours and corrected it. Perhaps you reacted exceptionally well to an event. Whatever it is, bring it to mind. And now take a moment to bring to mind where you can improve. When were your thoughts distorted? When were you overconfident? Not confident enough? Mistaken? Do this in a careful and objective way.
and now decide how you'll approach the future after this exercise. What will you take with you? How will you instill good habits of mind and thought? Let's finish by committing to following through. You have reflected and you have a plan. Follow through. Take a few deep breaths. Well done. Remember, Seneca's insight is to be mindful of the judgments we form and what deserves our attention. We suffer before it is necessary when we form judgments we are not sure are true, or we focus inappropriately on future events and lose our focus in the present. Let's end with a line from Seneca. He suffers more than is necessary who suffers before it is necessary.